Hey folks, it's that time of the year. It's September in Pennsylvania and that means all the tomatoes are coming in on all my friends' gardens. Not my garden, because I suck at gardening. Anyway, it's time for some tomato salad just like my mom used to make it. Here we go! Okay, so we're gonna make that fresh tomato salad right now and these are our ingredients. First off, we got our fresh tomatoes out of our garden, actually out of my buddy's garden because I suck as a gardener. And we got some stragglers here that were on a few tomato plants in my backyard. We've got some fresh basil. My mother called this basinagol. In Italian, it's actually basilico, but the dialect is basinagol. Here we have a nice onion. And back here we have red wine vinegar, which is what we'll use. It says on here, dipping EVOO. This is the really good this is the really good olive oil, super good. Garlic salt, and we have some balsamic. If it needs a little sweetness, sometimes I add a little balsamic. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Let's start making our fresh tomato salad. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up our tomatoes. This is how I do it. I got a really sharp knife. I chop it like that. I take this little eye out here, just like that down the middle so now I got quarters and then I cut it like this when they start to get hard to cut you can zigzag your knife saw your knife a little bit and into the bowl they go whoops missed one five second roll okay let's do another one quarter and that's how it's done Okay, now we're gonna do our onion. Cut the end off, cut the other end off. Get rid of those two pieces. I always do it like this. I cut here and I try and get the top layer of skin. This is why I got gloves on. You wanna protect your eyes too, probably, if you're sensitive to this. I'm not as sensitive as I used to be. Once I have all the skin off, I do the same thing here. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use half of this onion, maybe even less. Here's a big onion. I would have used a small onion, but I didn't have one. So I like this. Now you might want to quarter it and slice it first, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the slices at the end and cut them in half. Just kind of keep them in the same order here. I'm, I'm moving my knife in a for, forward and down. One more. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them. I'm gonna cut them once or twice, and that's it right there. Okay, this is what our tomato and onions look like so far. Now we gotta get some basil in there, some basinagol. So what I'm gonna do is like a chiffonade, as they used to say, I think they say that in France. I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna roll them up. I'm gonna chop them into little fine little pieces. And that's it, and that's going in with our tomatoes. Okay, now we're gonna dress our tomato salad. And I gotta tell you, it wouldn't be official without this thing because we're just gonna dress it. We're not gonna measure anything. We're gonna do it just like my mom did, which means we gotta do a lot of tasting and a lot of adjusting, okay? And since I'm gonna be the one eating this whole thing, I can just stick my fork in there whenever I want. First, let's mix it up a little bit. Make sure your onions are all kind of busted apart, okay? Now, first thing I'm gonna do is take the really good olive oil. You'll know it's really good, and you'll know it's really good extra virgin olive oil because it was really expensive. That's the one I do first. I give it a thorough coating. I don't care if there's too much. I can, you can see I can always drain off some of that juice, but you really want that juice, okay? Now, a little bit of this. I used to watch Mario Battalion. He used to do it like this. Okay, so you saw what I put in there. A little bit of garlic salt. Now we're going to do the important part. We're going to give it a test, taste test. Absolutely perfect. Just the way I like it. These onions are very strong. Your onions are very strong. You can cut them into smaller pieces, cut them thinner. These are very strong, but this whole thing should mellow out. In other words, if it tastes sharp like vinegary and oniony now, in a couple hours it'll probably be melted together. Okay, it's time to give our fabulous tomato salad a good taste. Man, that was seriously tasty. 
Hey, if you want to see some more videos like this, just give me some thumbs up things like a like and maybe a subscribe. And send me some comments. Tell me what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you next time.